Hello children. Now we come to the end of the chapter transpiration. Factors which affect transpiration. External factors. Intensity of sunlight. I had told you earlier that during the day stomata are open. So more transpiration will take place. And at night they are closed. So transpiration does not occur. During the day stomata are open. And at night they are closed. So more transpiration will occur during the day. Suppose it is cloudy. Then the stomata are partially closed and transpiration will be reduced. Did you get it? Next point, temperature. If the outside temperature is higher, more evaporation occurs from the leaves, hence more transpiration. Temperature also plays a very important role. During summers, the rate of transpiration is more. Velocity of wind. If the wind velocity increases, transpiration will also increase. Because the wind carries away the water vapor released during transpiration, Humidity. Humidity means the moisture content in the air. So here, transpiration is reduced if air is humid. Carbon dioxide. Increase in the CO2 level will cause stomatal closure. And hence, what will happen? Obviously, transpiration will decrease. Atmospheric pressure. Rate of transpiration increases with decrease in atmospheric pressure. So these are a few points or the external factors which affect transpiration. Next we come to a very important topic. Adaptations in plants to minimize or to reduce transpiration. First, sunken stomata. The stomata may be sunken or covered by hair, for example in nerium. Look at this figure. You see the hair and stomata right here inside. Fewer stomata, the number of stomata will be reduced to minimize transpiration. Narrow leaves, the leaves may become narrow to reduce surface area. Reduce exposed surfaces, sometimes the leaves become wavy, rolled or they get folded to reduce the exposed surface area to minimize transpiration. Loss of leaves. This generally occurs in desert plants such as cacti. The leaves change into spines or in some plants the leaves may be dropped off. Thick cuticle. Cuticle is a waxy coating you remember. So this in Vanian tree is very thick. This is another means to minimize transpiration. Now, the importance of transpiration. Why is transpiration important to the plant? Because it causes a cooling effect. Evaporation reduces the temperature of the leaf surface, hence cools the plant. 
it helps in creating a suction force as the plant is absorbing water losing water a suction force acts from the top of the plant which will cause more drawing of water from the cells at the lower levels it causes distribution of water and mineral salts this is again a very important point that water is distributed right up to the tips of all the branches and the twigs so there are three important points related to significance of transpiration one causes a cooling effect two creates a suction force and three causes distribution of water and mineral salts remember children i had sent you the exact differences between evaporation and transpiration you must have already written them in your notebooks we have done gutation in chapter absorption by roots remember gutation the loss of water in the form of droplets along the margins of the leaves through structures called hydathodes this is a recap for you bleeding sometimes there is loss of cell sap in a plant from ruptured or cut surfaces that is called as bleeding you will learn this definition of bleeding transpiration affects climate helps in bringing rain why because transpiration increases the moisture content in the atmosphere and in a way helps to bring rain with this we come to the end of chapter transpiration do all the progress check questions children and the back exercises remember to do the structure application skill type questions in your notebooks you have already done two questions do the remaining ones learn this chapter for test i will send the questions all the best children take care